What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a three-layer parlay for Monday, September 4, 2023. Here at Pitstalks, we drop the most free pick videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button. Drop a like. It helps us out a lot. Currently recording this Sunday, September 3rd at 1 p.m. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. My weekend's been wild. I need to, I need to get home, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's been a good one, but I am ready to, to get back to reality. Um, Chicago's been fun, though, man. I've been enjoying my time here, but well, we and we hit our parlay yesterday. We hit our Saturday college football parlay. I've been doing great in college football. Um, I hope my nose get the win today. I got, I'm got. i riding a lot on FSU Moneyline. I absolutely nuked FSU Moneyline. You know, they say don't bet on your, your favorite team. I don't care. FSU's beating LSU today. You heard it here. Um, and I don't even think it's going to be that close. The fact that FSU's underdogs is absolutely unreal to me. But let me stop spewing. Uh, spewing. God damn it, I can't talk. I'm telling you, this weekend has got the best of me. Um... But I got three three late parlay, three late parlay for Monday. And we're going to start off with some college football, man. I think it's interesting we got uh, some college football on a Monday. That's kind of that's kind of odd, isn't it? Uh, but we got this matchup between Clemson versus Duke. And I kind of went back and forth on this game, but <clears throat> my final pick with here is going to be Clemson. I'm going to lay the points with Clemson. Um, I, I think Clemson's going to be scary once again this year. You know, start, starting quarterback, uh, Club Nick. He did get some playing time last year, um, and he looked decent, but he's had all offseason to, to work on his skills, work with this offense, learn this offense. So I think we're going to see some improvement from him. Um, and then the, the, the Clemson also has a, a new offensive coordinator, which is much needed. I mean, this team's offense was looking lethargic over the last couple of years. You know, they basically won their games off their defense. But with his new offensive coordinator, supposedly, you know, he... He's pretty action-packed. It's I don't think we're going to see the, the same boring Clemson offense. I think it's going to be pretty electric. Um, and then also, you know, Clemson, they're, they're always going to have an elite defense, especially on the defensive line. So I expect Duke to struggle um, to consistently move the ball down the field throughout the game to, to keep up with this Clemson team. I just think it's a bad matchup for Duke. Um, so give me Clemson on the – give me Clemson land the points here. Next game we got, looking at this matchup between the Orioles versus the Angels. Going back to baseball. Um, give me, give me the over here. I like the over a lot. I, this, you know, this Orioles offense has been great all season. Um, the, the numbers at eight and a half too, which I thought was a little low, you know, the, the Orioles currently ranking top 10 in runs, hits, RBIs, batting average, the, the, the team puts up runs. Um, and it, if they get rolling, man, they could reach this number on their own. Um, and, and, you know, the angels have been able to put up some numbers at, at times this season as well. I think they rank in the top half in the league of runs scored, you know, they are missing trout and things like that, but. I think they contribute to the scoreboard. I expect a 6-4 type game in this one, so lo loving the over there. Last but not least, Phillies versus Padres. You know damn well I'm fading the Padres, man. Give me the Phillies here. Uh, both these teams have kind of screwed me this year. I'm not going to lie. Especially the Padres. Um, Phillies, you know, I, I took some wins, took some losses, but god damn the Padres have screwed me. And that's why I'm going to fade them, man. It looks like we have Rich Hill on the mound for the Padres and Taiwan Walker on the mound for the Phillies. Rich Hill hasn't won a game since June 27th, um, and Ty Walker, Taiwan Walker has been decent. He has four wins in his last five starts, um, and, and the Phillies' bats are starting to turn on as well. Uh, we finally see some life from Trey Turner, which would be huge for this team if he could produce consistently. And when it comes to Padres, this, this lineup is just brutally inconsistent. I don't know how this lineup is so damn stacked, but they just can't put it together. It makes zero sense to me. Um, so yeah, man, give me the Phillies on the money line. Let's recap this part. Later. Game one, Clemson minus 13. Yeah, Clemson minus 13. Orioles versus Angels, over 8.5. Phillies versus Padres. Give me the Phillies on the money line. That's going to do it, man. I'm getting back home tomorrow, so I'll be back, like, you know, in my setting. Um, you know, but these parlay videos will probably be a little bit better quality, I would say, um, rather than I'm literally standing in, like, this little bedroom, you know, just, just do my thing. But... Yeah, man. If you want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, the picks that I'm better myself personally, um, go to PitDogs, click the premium pick section, or click the link in the description of this video, and you'll find all my plays there. Uh, appreciate all you guys watching this. Hope everyone had a good college football weekend. I enjoyed the games. Um, it was awesome to see what CU did. I watched that whole game from from start to finish, and um, one of the one of the greatest football um, games I've ever seen. Just the the storyline of it. Um, just both teams battling back and forth. The the performance from Travis Hunter. Oh my. Gosh, that Colorado team's going to be fun to watch this season. Um, so, yeah, man, like I said, appreciate everyone watching. Hope everyone has a good rest of their weekend. And let's make some cash, baby. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.